she's fighting a kind of a and she never give up. And I was wondering if in your life have you ever fought with something, I mean, I of course less dramatic, but with the same passion. Um, there isn't a specific thing that I, that I can... I mean, I think when you make the commitment to have a child, you have that immediate commitment to you will do anything for them and, and uh, you will do anything to protect them. So you naturally have that commitment made and, and uh, hopefully it's not tested in your lifetime. Um, I know when I first started traveling and, and, and met refugees, when I first went to Sierra Leone and Tanzania was my first trip with the UN, I remember coming back and sitting in the airport and getting on the phone with my mom and just saying, like, I... I really want to. I really want this to be discussed more. I really want these people to have a voice. I really want somehow. You know, I made a commitment to, and I'm sure I'll work with them for the rest of my life because they're so extraordinary and and um, and should have more of a voice publicly and everything that they go through. I think refugee families are exceptional and um, such survivors. So, but but it's not a conscious waking. It's just the things that I've discovered that I have. Uh, I feel a responsibility to. I think you're going to go to the second row here. Hi, Angelina. Um, you've had a, a couple of years of emotional extremes when you're not having your kids. Um, I just wanted to ask, how are you and yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I feel, I feel it, you know, you, you're reminded you, you, you have a loss, and, and, and I did have, my mom was far too young. Um, she was 58. Um, but, uh, but she lived long enough to meet my children, most of my children. And um, so I, you, can only, you can only think of that. You can only think, you can only just focus on how grateful you are. And, and of course, and I also think, you know, when you love somebody that much, you're happy when they're out of pain, period. And you don't, you know, as much as you miss them. The important thing is they don't suffer. Um, but I've been so blessed to have healthy children and and a, and a great partner who's who we're having such a wonderful time raising our children together and and there's a lot of love in our home so you know I I remind myself of that anytime I I would think of uh, what I've lost you know so I feel very lucky. I think that's. I think that's an odd question for this moment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can we move on? Um, I think you were... Yeah, I was just wondering um, how interesting it was with Ms. Malkovich. You have some key scenes of him. Oh, he's great. He's, um, you know, he has this... He comes across... I think he's one of those people, you know, I think sometimes actors present something and then you find it interesting. He's just genuinely such an... Uh, an interesting person that he found. Clint said that about him. He's like, he's, it's like watching a, uh, you know, it's like a snake that hypnotizes you. He's got this thing <laughs> that you end up kind of leaning into because he's genuinely one of the more intellectual people you'll ever meet. He's genuinely a, a very complex uh, human being. And so, um, so that comes across in his characters. And, and, and he's very, very, so, so in our business, he's unique. He's this very unique um, talent. Uh, and a very, very sweet man. Very sweet. And very generous as an actor. Very helpful to the other actor who's working with him. Okay, we've got time for a couple of quick ones now. Uh, Anne Moore on the front, please. We spoke to Kira Knightley here last year for atonement. She told us one of the most frequent pieces of direction she was given was to close her mouth at the end of every sentence because apparently a very contemporary thing to, to leave your mouth <laughs> Now, I wondered if there was anything similar that you had to unlearn for the, uh, That's really the, funny. the character of that era. Um... <laughs> he didn't, but I, I found myself, there were, there were different things that I had read. When I did Good Shepherd, which was also a little later period, but I had, I had taken a manners class. <laughs> it's a show. Um, about, you know, the, the sitting this way, or that it's very polite for a woman not to sit, as I do, very direct, but to kind of a bit like that. You know, or these, these odd things that you, um, that you learn. Um, so I had that in mind. I, I found myself covering my smile a lot, but that was more, I don't know why. I think it was a, maybe it was something my mom I remembered, or maybe it was just an instinctual thing of, of, um, of politeness, of, I, I don't know. But I, I, 
there were certain things that would just kind of organically come that felt um, my posture was different. But certainly there were, there were certain words we couldn't use. There were certain things. I think I kept saying, there was one scene where I kept getting everybody out of my office, and I, was, and I said, come on, guys, let's go. And I think I did, like, the most takes I had in the film. I think it was, like, the third take. And it's, it's, it's gals or something. Like, it, guys is just not a, you know, it's thing, little things like that. I'm going to go to the second round on the right. This is obviously an emotionally uh, demanding and challenging <coughs> film for you for all sorts of different reasons. Is there one particular challenge in this film, one particular scene that you had to do that was especially difficult for you? I think I even read that you were pregnant during some of the, some of the filming. Was there one particular scene that was uh, almost beyond you but not quite? Um, I, I think the most difficult... One of the most difficult scenes for me was just making the phone call in the beginning. I think there's something, there's something where that's just such a serious fear, especially for any parent, that you just don't want to physically do it. You don't want to go up to a phone, pick it up, and report a missing child. Everything in you, just uh, the act of doing it is, is, is horrible. Um, that was hard to do. I think... Funny enough, that one of the one of the more difficult scenes was picking him up at the train station because it was so weird. <laughs> it was such a, um, and I remember even the other actor. You know, we, we really had to do the scene that's, that's evidence that this is actually what happened. But he presents a child that he realizes she does not. She she quickly says, "This is not my child." He has to convince her because the, you know, cameras are are on him. That it is, and you should, you should take him home. And she somehow, in the course of this very short scene, has to go from this is not my child to okay, I'll take him home. <laughs> and we couldn't figure out, as two actors, we just sat there together just trying to, we were, it's, it was so bizarre and felt so strange. And, um, and yet that's, that's uh, you know, I think Clint helped us to just understand that it is that bizarre. And that's okay, and, you know. But it, but it was. I, I, I didn't know where to put myself during that scene. Okay, and the incredible honor of the last question goes to you. Hello there, Liam Allen, Big C News. Uh, Angelina, um, have you ever roller skated before I changed the <laughs> <laughs> um, God, People keep asking me that. Was I, did I roller skate that badly? <laughs> um, I had to learn how to roller blade for hackers. I did a bit of that. But the... Um, the roller skating was actually really funny. I, for some reason, when I read the script, I don't, I didn't get that description. So when my roller skates arrived for me to practice on, I, I thought it was kind of, I didn't think it was serious, and I didn't. Um, it was really hard <laughs> to practice. They, they're not only are they roller skates, but they're all metal, so they have no rubber, they have no brake on them, and you have to wear your heels on them. So you're in two-inch heels with the screw, so you're actually forward with no brakes, with no, so it was very funny. I, sp- I spent quite a few days falling over, and, and then I finally got it, but it was actually quite hard. <laughs> and on that note, I'd like to uh, thank Angelina. Thank you very much.